Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today, this is our little monthly series, The Wigs I Wore. So these are going to be a few of the wigs I wore in November. I can't wait to show them to you. As you know, if you've watched this, this series, you know this is not a wig review. I've already reviewed all these wigs. I will give all the information you need in the drop-down box below this video. So if you want to see things like cap construction, uh, styling tips, outdoor lighting, all of that is in the full review of these wigs. This is just to show you some of the wigs I chose to wear in November. So again, if you want to see full reviews, just go to the drop down box below this video. I'll have them all linked there. So let's just talk about some of the wigs I wore in November. So first up, Raquel Welch Current Events. This is Golden Russet. Look this pretty. Isn't this color pretty? You know, if you watch my channel, you know that I um, started out <laughs> my wig journey wearing all short blonde pixies. That's what I was comfortable with, and that's what I wore. But I made you a promise a couple of years ago that I was going to start showing you all kinds of colors and styles and links. And you know what? I think I've done that. I do. Now today, I'm just going to throw these on with a wig grip. You know, normally I would have on a wig cap and a wig grip, but today I'm just going to use a wig grip. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just here showing you these wigs, but if I'm going out, I normally always have on my wig cap and grip. It's just my comfort zone. You don't have to. You can just totally wear a wig grip. The majority of people do that. I just like to wear a wig cap and a wig grip. Like I said, it's just my way. Okay, so let's have a quick look at this. I'm going to slip this on for you. Now this is a little large on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. And I find this one fits a little large, but easily worn just by adjusting the adjusters. Now I don't have a mirror back here to look at the back, so you're just going to have to trust me here. And we're just going to work through this together. Sleek sleek style. Now, I have not steamed this wig off my face yet. <laughs> I might, but I haven't yet. Look at this, how beautiful the highlighting is. Now, again, if you watch me on a regular basis, you know, instead of steaming many times, I'll just use a little hairspray. This is the Hair You Wear Control Hairspray. And I will use that just like I'm showing you here. I'll just spray it a little bit, and that is a temporary fix. Like I said, this is not permanent. If you need a permanent fix, you're going to have to steam it. But just for a temporary fix, I will do that just to get it off my face. Now, if you're looking for a sleek bob, I don't know how you can beat Kurt Events. Super popular. It is very low density, as you can tell. Easily worn behind your ears. Just a beautiful sleek bob. Okay, let's move on from current events. And y'all, you know, I'm very particular with my hair. You know that, with my wigs. I put them back in the box they came in, and it is ready to go next time. That's just, again, just my way. Okay, this is Envy Kimberly. <laughs> I love this wig, and I think this color is so pretty. This is lighter red. Look how vibrant this red is. And I've just got to show you. This is a gorgeous cap. This is a hand-tied cap. Again, I really don't want to go into all the cap construction because I've already done that on all these wigs, but I just wanted to show you that because I think it is just so so well done. This one, again, was really large on me. You can see I've had to take it up quite a bit. Uh, Envy seems to run large on me. Uh, I can just always know that most Envy wigs are going to be fairly large on me. But, oh, I love this color. I have fallen in love with red wigs. If you, like, again, watch me, you know that I think that uh, this Envy lighter red is so pretty. I just like the vibe. It's like, wow. It just wakes up your face. Look how beautifully uh, highlighted this is. Lots of movement here. Another 
Uh, now, this is not as long as current events that I just had on. This is a little shorter. If you felt like current events is too much hair too long, maybe have a look at, at Kimberly. It is a very similar style. This has a little bang, though, where um, current events is more one length. This has a little, a little bit of a bang, and you could trim this bang even if you wanted to. Like I said, this is a hand-tied cap, lace front, all of that, so you could trim that and make that more of a straight-across bang if you wanted, but I just like it kind of down like that. I think it's so pretty. I love the sleekness of this wig. Again, works well behind your ears. Lots of movement. Wow, a really good job on Kimberly. Okay, let's move on. Now you see, like I said, I like to, y'all, you know, I'll tell you everything about <laughs> my wig wearing. This is why I like a wig cap and a wig grip. I, it slips around on my head. My hair is so baby fine and thin. Everything slips right off of it. Now this wig grip is good. It will stay. It will stay. But if I'm changing wigs like I'm doing here showing you, it tends to slip. If I had a wig cap on, and I have a video where I show you exactly how I um, apply my wig cap and my wig grip, I will link it below as well. And if I have that on, I can change wigs all day and it's not going anywhere. However, if I just have on a wig grip, it does tend to slip on me. Just due to the fact my hair is so fine, uh, anything is hard to hold to it except when I have my wig cap and grip on together. Okay, this is Mellow, Aesthetica Mellow R30 2826. I was late to the game on Mellow, I'm going to tell you. Everybody had tried this wig, <laughs> and I had not. Um, all of these wigs that I'm showing you today are from wigstudio1.com, and I found this wig on clearance. And I thought, you know, I haven't tried Mellow, so I'm going to try it. I bought it, and I thought, okay, now I see why everybody loves it. Beachy Wave, now you know, Beachy Waves have been the thing now for a couple years, right? Aesthetica also runs a little large on me. Actually, this one is very large. But I think Mellow is such a nice little style. It is wavy. I'm just going to put some water on it. Now, I like to do that, again, just my way. I like to do that just to separate these fibers. It's good also for taming some flyaways if you have that issue, which with synthetic hair, we do have issues with flyaways, right? And that seems to help a little bit. And I just like to get my hands in it and separate those fibers. But I just think Mellow is a wearable, fun little style. I'm definitely keeping my eye, my eye out for this in some uh, different colors. I like it that much. Again, R30-2826. Beautiful. Shades of red through here. Wow. Yeah. I wish I hadn't waited so long to try Mellow because I really, really like it. If you haven't tried it, I would encourage you give it a try. Okay, now let's look at this is Noriko Harlow. Now, this one is fairly new. I think I just re reviewed it uh, in November, or maybe the end of October. I can't remember. It's been a while. This is basic cap. This is basic, basic hair. Lots of permatease here. Well, I'm not going to say a lot of permatease. I'm going to say it has permatease. That's, you know, relative. Some, what I might think is not much, you might think is way too much. That's the thing about permatease. Some people really like it. Those people being me, <laughs> I love it. Some people do not want anything to do with it. I absolutely respect that opinion. Um, isn't it great? Isn't it great, y'all, that we have all of this different hair out there that we can choose from? We don't have to like the same thing. That's what I love about this whole hair journey is I can like what I like. You can like what you like. They make something for absolutely everybody. And let's just respect each other and applaud each other <laughs> and encourage each other. You know, that's what this is about. That's what my channel is about. My channel is about you, not about me. It never has been. 
I know that the wigs I put on all the time do not look good on me. I am so aware of that. It's, I don't care about that. I want to show you what is out there, what you might like, what you might enjoy. However, these I'm showing you today are the wigs I actually am pulling, am, am wearing, and did wear in the previous month. I think this is, Harlow is, was super popular, number one. And I just thought, I want to try it. And this one is Raspberry Ice. Look at this color. Look at this highlighting. Is that not just gorgeous? I think it is such a pretty, pretty color. Lots of movement here. Yes, there is permatease all in this wig. Like I said, if you don't like permatease, not your wig at all. I, however, enjoy it. I like the lift. I like big hair. I am all about it. So this was right up my alley, and I also love flips on wigs like this. This reminds me very much of Ellen Villa Ferrara. It has this same flip to it, but not with with not all the permatees. So if you like this style, but you're not a fan of permatees, have a look at Ellen Villa Ferrara. But I like this. I think it's a beautiful color. I like the style. I just like it. So, you know, if I like it, I'm going to wear it. And that's another thing, you know, I always encourage you, wear what you love, wear what you get excited about. You know, if you think you put on a wig and you think, I look great, I feel great, I'm out the door, you're gonna, that's gonna come across to everyone you meet. Just wear what you like, what you feel comfortable in. Don't let anybody tell you what to wear. You know, I wear pink hair, because I like pink hair. <laughs> and I don't care if anybody else likes it or not. Okay, now, another Noriko. I like Noriko. My very first wig was Noriko uh, Corey, back in the day. I still love that wig. I have repurchased that wig time and time again. So I, my wig journey started with, with Permatease. So I've always enjoyed it. Like I said, I totally respect those that do not. I do. This is Meadow and Silverstone. Look at Silverstone. Have you tried Silverstone yet? If you're one of my gray ladies, I love gray hair. Well, always always gravitate, gravitate towards some gray hair and meadow was one of the most popular styles that came out everybody liked it it is now how easy is this really i'm going to spray it again just to show you that i can separate these fibers this has a lot of fun movement with this little shorter style and let's see i'm just gonna run my wide tooth comb through it i like um the bang on this is wearable but this color is so so pretty has a nice neck on this wig as you can see it has a nice uh coverage here it's a little longer uh on the nape so if you have hair that grows down uh, on your neck this ha provides good coverage very very wearable i like meadow i really do in the fall and winter i love to wear gray just like this with a black top i like it a black turtleneck i think it just gives you that your face just wakes up with that beautiful gray and then something black like a black turtleneck or a black shirt like this so i enjoy gray as well and i know many of you do too okay let's move on this is another really popular style that came out for Raquel Welch. Let's rendezvous. And I have mine in SS Sand is this color. Yeah, this was super popular. How pretty is that? You know, Raquel Welch just knows how to make these colors, don't they? They just, these shaded colors of theirs, I think, are so pretty and believable. This is a really good fit on me. I like the length of this. I think it's a flattering length. It is a more of a sleek bob. Now, I really do want to steam mine. I have not. 
and I've been hesitant. I think I'm going to do another. I have two videos on how to steam wigs already, but I've been thinking about making another one, a little more updated one. It's been a while since I made one. So I'm saving some of these wigs to steam on camera for you. But this is so pretty. Look how pretty this is around the face. It is all, look at the length here. It uh, is low density. It has a mono top. This one has a lot of flyaways. It really does. I'm just going to run this water through it just a little to just tame that down, like I said, just a little bit. This SS sand is so pretty around the face. Just want to let you see how this looks here. Just a lot of movement. I love these bobs that just move every time you move your head. This just is a very natural looking wig. Yeah, Raquel Welch just knows how to do these styles. Okay, let's keep going. I have Ellen Villa Rays. Now, Rays has been with me for quite a long time. I have repurchased it many times. This one is Pearl Blonde Rooted. Another gray with the Pearl Blonde. Um, I think this is just throw on get out the door this has a lace front there's no mono top or anything but it does have a lace front but these short spiky styles as you know i am all about it i love it i absolutely love it rays has a little more length on the top which i think a lot of people appreciate it's not so you can get some height here i'm going to show you how i do mine and I cannot tell you how often I actually reach for this wig because you can see exactly what I'm doing. If I'm just heading out and need to get out the door really quick, I don't know how much quicker I could do it. <laughs> how much faster could we do it, right? I throw this on. I have it in I don't know how many colors. Several. Several different shades. I like it that much. I am um, a fan of throwing something on like this and it just takes me a second to get ready. Again, a little more length here as you see. You'll notice that's a little longer, right? And I, I think a lot of people appreciate that too. So, in my opinion, you cannot go wrong if you're looking for a throw on and go with a little more length on the top, have a look at Ellen Villa Rays. I don't think this wig gets enough love. I really don't. I think it is a great style. Uh, you just don't hear many people talk about it, but it is definitely one to keep an eye on. If you see it on clearance and you just want to give it a try, that's always a good way to do it too. Okay, how about a John Renault? This is Quinn. Now, Quinn came on the scene and everybody was wearing it, right? It was really popular. This one is fs 24 s12 I'm going to brush through mine a little bit for you. It is just a little beachy wave. Another out-of-the-box style. Super lightweight. Really lightweight. It has a lace front and a mono part on this one. Again, I have a um, full review on it on my channel. This one ran a little large for me. I will show you that I have had to, let me turn it inside out, give you a little idea there that how much, it was very large. I've had to really take it in on the back a lot, which is fine with me. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, like I said, I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference, so by using the adjusters, I mostly always can get a a fit that is no problem at all just by taking in the adjusters. Some, as we know, some brands uh, run larger than others. Normally Noriko, and we looked at some Noriko's, those normally run pretty small and snug. I never really have to adjust those, but um, sometimes John Renault runs a little large on me. Aesthetica, like we spoke about, different ones it just depends and you know all of our um 
face shapes are different. All of our head circumference are not exactly the same. It just depends and it, different brands will fit differently. And I will tell you, I've had the same style and the, and the very exact same style in a different color and the two weaves can fit differently. It absolutely just depends. You never quite know. And as you know, the curl patterns tend to um, also be different a lot of times on the wigs. You might can get this wig and this has a pretty tight curl pattern. You might get it again and be very loose. It just absolutely is not a science that everyone is completely exactly the same. Another fun little shorter beachy wave. I wanted to show you some things that I wear that are a little shorter. I know a lot of times I have in the winter and fall I wear a little longer, but I still love my short wigs, y'all, and I wear them so much. So when I pull these and I wear them during the month, I set them aside as I wear them during the month so I can show them to you at the end of the month. And I was wearing this with a turtleneck, and I thought this worked perfect with that. If you are concerned about your wigs rubbing on your clothes, that's always a concern for us as wig wearers, isn't it? Because you know, it will fray the bottom of your wig. So I don't I don't mind to wear something like this with a turtleneck because it's still short enough, it's really not gonna rub on that. So I don't worry about that too much. But this is a cute style. Been around a little bit and was super, super popular when when it first came out. I have another John Renault, an oldie but a goodie, this next one. You're all probably familiar with it. Who isn't, right? John Renault at night. And mine is, this one is in Venice Blonde. I have it night in so many colors. Just one of the most popular John Renault styles, probably of all time. I don't know. It seems like it, though. It seems like everyone is familiar with Ignite. Short, another one perfect for a turtleneck in the winter time. And it fits me. Now this one, I will tell you, fits me snug. Again, let's talk about the difference. The one I had on just a minute ago, um, Quinn, fit me a little large. This fits me snug. Uh, again, got, that's just the way it is. You have to try them. Uh, you know, it's a rule of thumb that they'll be similar fit, but that is not always the case. So, I know many people tell me all the time I had that, and uh, it's just too big, but then they'll have another one within the same brand, and it fits snug. So, it does just depend. I want to spray mine just a little. Isn't it nice? Such a fun style. If you have it, let, leave me some comments below. Tell me your experience with it. Do you love it? Do you not like it? What's your thought on it night? I think it's fun. I like to put one side behind my ear. That's just my way. I like to just tuck one side and leave one side down. I just, like I said, it's popular for a reason. You know, it's been very, it's not one of their best sellers for no reason. It has really run the test of time here. I just don't know how you can go wrong with it. If you are a short wig wearer, and let me show you the front. You can, this is so cute also. I've worn it completely off my face, pulled back. I'll pull back this longer piece and wear it like that, and it changes the look com completely. Even though it's short, you can still change the look by some easy, fun styling. Don't forget that. All right, I got one more. I want to show you one more, and I don't want to keep you here all day, but... I just enjoy spending this little bit of time with you and going over some of the wigs I wore in the previous month. And the last one I have is my Scorpio. I love Scorpio. You've probably seen me review this so many times. <laughs> Basic cap. I've, so, I've shown you some of all of it. I have shown you uh, just lace fronts, lace fronts and mono parts basic caps. I try to show you a little everything. This one's a Moonstone again. Look at Moonstone. Now, this has a darker root. I understand a lot of people are not a fan of that. I totally get it. If you don't like that, I, like I said, I totally understand. Again, we're so lucky that we have so many choices. This fits me perfect. Perfect, perfect. 
uh, I don't have to do any adjustment to it but how pretty I think this color is so pretty I, I don't mind the dark root myself again I know it's not uh, a favorite of everyone that's perfectly fine but even you know this comes in so many different colors if you like the style you certainly I think could find a shade you liked it in okay guys that is what I have for you today thank you so much for joining me I just want to remind you if you don't follow me over on Instagram please do I have different wig content every day there I post something different on Instagram about a wig every day so check be sure to check it out over there I also have some wig giveaways lots of fun things over there I like the bangs on this wig I really like this style I hope you'll uh, consider giving Scorpio a, a try if you have it all right Again, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.